Good morning, traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Wednesday, August 16th. All right, traders, another inside day. So we had a big engulfing red candle. We had an inside day on Friday, big gap up on Monday. Most of the gains were done on Monday here. And then, of course, back to an inside day uh, yesterday. So where do we go from here? Are we still looking for a 2,500 print? I've got a couple of emails uh, asking me that. And yes, I'm still looking for a 2,500 print. There's no reason why we can't get up there. Uh, 2550 will be the upper end of the range. Uh, so we're still looking for that. We're still within an uptrend, right? We see um, all, of, all of price. You can see price here uh, hitting the line, making higher highs and higher lows. Regardless of this one down candle, remember, if you see the patterns, down candle, back up again. Small down candle, back up again. Down candle, back up again. And you see what I'm saying, right? Right back up again. Down candle, back up again. So. The, the pattern remains the same. Uh, the, technically, there's no damage on the charts. Yes, some were below the 50-day moving average, and that's a concern. But again, I keep saying one day doesn't make does not make a trend. So that's why we have to be really uh, um, selective in our trades right now. We are getting expansion of volatility, although volatility did collapse after a Monday's move higher. That does not mean that volatility will not expand. Uh, we are still watching and paying attention to the FANG stocks, the Facebook, Apple, uh, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. And uh, the volatility keeps collapsing. That means that the shorts keep leaning on the VIX as they're buying the um, uh, FANG stocks. So that's going to be a very crowded trade. And you'll see one day, and I don't know what day it is, obviously, but you'll see VIX, and I've seen it before, almost double in one day. If not a 50% move, a 100% move. And I've seen that happen several times in my uh, career uh, doing this. So... Just I would, a word of caution of those of you who are doing it, and if not, um, then I would just look for, pay attention to what the VIX is doing as well as the FANG stocks, because when the FANG stocks top, the market's going to top. Uh, I think we're tightening up the range from, we were saying, for anywhere from August through October. I think more it's going to be in the next four to six weeks the market will top. That does not mean the market starts to uh, um, crash. What it means, markets top doesn't go any higher, starts making lower lows and lower highs, and then as the lower lows and lower highs gets going, then we get some fear into the markets, and then that's when everybody starts to sell, and retail sells at the end, really pushing the market lower. So that's what we're looking for. Everything still remains intact, okay? 24, 74, 25 will be your area of resistance. Uh, your support will come in here at the 24, 63, 50. That's the daily chart, ES. And by the way, guys, for those of you who are um, really getting active, uh, right now, it, it's, it's kind of quiet, but Check out the uh, uh, Pro Trader Premier video. The intraday levels are just killing it. And also the trading room, guys, we've had some phenomenal signals. And even though it's been quiet, we've been making money every month in the trading room. So come check us out. Send an email to support. We'll give you a link. NASDAQ, 59.46, 58.37 and a half. Those are your two bigger areas of support for today's trade. But you can see clearly here that we came right back down. We came right back up again. So buyers of dips are in full force, and they think this market's going to continue to go higher. So um, let's keep an eye on what's happening here uh, and just be, be in perspective of what the markets are doing, what price is doing. Uh, do not pay attention to everything else that's out there. There's a lot of noise out there that can really affect your trading. Next is going to be crude oil, and we have uh, crude oil. Interesting, we had the... Um, Genscape cushion numbers come out, storage numbers that came out with a big, b bigger build than the previous week, plus 769,000 barrels. API number had a small, uh, had a better number than a, a draw, and uh, crude oil rallied a little bit, now up about only 11 cents. Today's Department of Energy number is going to come out, so let's pay attention to what crude does, because if the numbers are worse than expected, as indicated in the Genscape cushion numbers on Monday, well, then you might have um, the market really start to roll back down again. And that's where I think, believe this, where I think we're headed to the low 40s, high uh, 38 handle in crude oil. There's absolutely no reason to buy crude up at 50. Uh, crude is going to, uh, unless, I mean, obviously, if you have a big war premium, crude oil is going to rally. It does, doesn't matter what the numbers are. But pay attention to these areas here. This is a big spot, $47, 4635 your two areas of support, 4940 and then obviously 50 is going to be a big area here of crude oil for today's trade. Okay, gold, same thing. If we get a risk-on environment, we're going to have gold sell off as well as bonds. I'm just looking for a pivot here. 126140 uh, will be a bigger area of support as well as the upper end of the TMT proprietary price channels of 1269, 126940, 126140. Okay, you got about nine dollars within here. Okay, in this range. Next is ZB, and same thing. What I mentioned. If we break below 150, uh, 150, uh, what is it, 150, 151, 150, somewhere around there, 
151 and well, 151. Let's round it off. Uh, that's going to be a bigger area that I think that we can start selling rallies in bonds to get down to this area here. Now we are still in a small uptrend. Okay, we did not take out this swing high on a two-day close. We had closed above it, made a doji, and came back in again. That objective would have been a target to this other swing high here, 157. That did not do it. The next swing high would be this area here, 150, 155, 30. But if we can maintain here, maybe even come down just a little bit lower and then start to rally again and really creep up some fear, then I think you can actually buy this here or the low run of the TMT range of 153.44 for a nice move of this current swing high of 156.71. That's going to be the trade. But other than that, that stay away until it does happen. Transports had a nice small recovery, but it is corrective in my technical view. 165.02, 170, that's going to be a bigger area of support. Let's see if this can take back the candle and start to move higher again. If that's the case, that'll help the bullish case to get us to the 2500 in the ES. All right, spiders next. You can see here 247.50, 244.12. Those are your two bigger areas of support for today's trade. IWM, this is the lagger. Uh, I would, any real good pushes up in the IWM, I would be looking to, to short. That's just me, and that's going to be my trading plan. Um, very weak, has not done anything other than the election here back in November. Uh, this has gone sideways pretty much all of 2017 we're going into now our eighth month we're almost done of the year already and this is something that we're going to be paying attention to 13094 is your area of support and last is going to be your cues 14474 14210 guys this is it 14210 14474 those are your two bigger areas of support and resistance for today's trade okay guys watch that doe number fomc minutes come out to today at 10 30 eastern time in the united states so use caution when you get into that uh, that time. If you're long uh, or if you're short, uh, I would tighten up stops or at least uh, protect it or maybe just try to get out because uh, you don't want to be uh, kind of long or short these FOMC minute numbers because that, that will be a market move or it should be anyway. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.